Wait, what's this? Is this a switching power supply that's been cannibalized to use a coilcraft transformer? Well, this is supposed to be a step-up transformer for the LT3750, but transformers can be used both ways. And the chip on this power supply, the Viper 22A, needs a feedback winding while the coilcraft transformer has only four primary windings that are supposed to be connected in parallel for maximum current capability. But what if we use one of the windings as feedback? But it works. So what's up with this? Well, it started with this idea and this mention. A bidirectional converter? Why not with all this energy saving stuff going on? This was my first idea, but how would I drive two isolated MOSFETs? Then I stumbled upon this, which I decided to build. First, I had to make a working half bridge using the IR2110, which is a store in itself. And before I knew it, I had a working bidirectional converter, which I then blew up because I overvolted the gates of one of the MOSFETs, which is a thing apparently. Since I had nothing better to do, I tried discharging a capacitor into a small SMPS I had laying around and it worked. And the chip inside gave me a brilliant idea which I called Plan B. LD3750 on the primary and the secondary diode on the low side so I could add the Viper 22A in parallel to it and the MOSFET body diode could be the low voltage side rectifier. But this whole thing hung on the fact that one of the windings on the coilcraft transformer could be used as a feedback winding which we now know works. Phew. PCB design was quicker than expected and I wonder when I'll get the chance to order it.